So in this video we want to talk about ordering PCBs. It's actually surprisingly easy once you've got your Gerber files generated. So you've done your PCB design software, you've exported your Gerber files. If you're not sure to do that, there's plenty of tutorials on how to do that, which will go into much more detail and probably much better than I could explain it to you. So that's why I'm not covered that. There's lots of stuff out there for different bits of software and what have you. Basically, once you've got a Gerber file, you come in here and in this case I'm using PCBWay because they're one of my sponsors so PCBWay sponsor my videos whenever I want a piece to be made I always get them from PCBWay and I've been really happy with the service so I highly recommend using them yourself there are other suppliers as well but this is the one I'm very comfortable using so this is one I keep going back to and like I said there are sponsors of my channel which helps me so quick order PCB let's do that add a Gerber file so I'm going to grab a Gerber file so here's my current source folder in Eagle which is what I designed the file in. Now, these are all the Gerber files here. What I always do is zip them up into a single file, and then you can just add that one file. Okay, so I'm gonna choose that one. So that will automatically get some information from the file. Now, normally what will actually display here is information about the actual board itself. Because I'm using Safari, it's not showing up. Chrome, it works, I believe, but I just ignore it. I know what the board looks like. It's fine. I just ignore that. It gives you the layers, the size of the board, and that sort of stuff. Here you can choose how many pieces you want. If you look at the amount it's going to cost you up here, if you watch that, so say if you want 10 pieces, it's still going to cost you $5. Because basically, a part of it is a setup cost. There you go. I didn't get 15. Now it's increased the cost. Consider that as well. If you're thinking, oh, maybe I want some spare balls laying around for the future so I can modify them or use them for something else, then consider that maybe you can get some extra balls for free. And then you've got all these other options. You've got basic standard PCB, you've got aluminium PCBs, you've got all sorts of options. You know, thickness of the board, minimum track spacing specs, which affect the cost, minimum hole size spec, which affect the cost, solder mask colours, um, silk screen colours, whether it's an edge connector or not, which means it's got a. Um, beveled edge on it if you want gold or not depends what you're doing gold is more expensive obviously copper weight so thickness of the copper is on the board you can put some comments in here if you've got anything special like in my case i've got some slots let's put a comment here so i've got slots on the board on a certain layer i've got a milling layer set up which is just purely for the slots and so i've put a comment in there so the people which review the circuit can understand that if you're doing smd type board instead of through hole which is what i've got here if you want smd you've got smd stencils so you can actually do stenciling instead. So you can just say, right, I want a stencil as well to go with it. So you can just use solder paste on the board and make it much easier to manufacture. Obviously a cost for these. These PCB manufacturers are good. They can actually do all sorts of other things as well these days. Sometimes they can do things like, say, CNC and 3D printing and stuff as well. and Even do assembly for you. If you've got a board you don't want to assemble, as long as they're common parts, you can actually get the assembly done as well. Obviously there's an extra cost for that. So normally once you've done all that stuff, you've decided what options you want, you just submit it, save the cart, they would then review it. So if I come to my cart here, these are a couple of just optional PCBs. They've got, they've got these like coaster things, which are pretty cool. I'm actually going to get them. So I've got a production status. I've got a production item here. So this is the board which I've actually requested to be made, which I showed you in the previous video. That's it there. I actually submitted this with a yellow solder mask with hassle finish, just to keep the cost down. But for my contact at PCBWay here, said, ah, we can do better than that. We will make it gold and black, because it looks nice. I said, okay, if you want to increase the cost, that's fine, that's up to you. <laughs> you know, I wasn't worried about gold. Let's see, there you go, this is my comment here about the four slots. They actually had an engineering question for me, and that is what this is over here, and it's basically confirming that the slots won't be plated. They asked me, are the slots plated holes or not? Because if they're not plated, they'll crack a slight gap in the copper layer around the holes. So the copper doesn't go right up to the edge of the hole. So that's what that's about. That's the engineering question part. But then you've got production tracking. And here it's saying, that this is reviewing it right now, which is obviously at this engineering question stage. It just This is an overview of what they do. Shows the actual processes and some videos. All the seven stages, if you want to look at that, it's quite interesting. It shows what they're doing at each stage. Reviewing it and all the layers and actually what each stage does. And actually a little video on each one. It's quite interesting. If you're not familiar with the process, have a look. Okay, so at this point, it's just stuck at this stage because they're waiting to see my email. Obviously, I've only just sent the email, so they haven't seen it yet. So once I see that, I'll change that section of the PCB to allow for the edge cut out away from the holes, and then I'll proceed. Now, you can see also, because there's a sponsor, they've given me a couple of extra bits as well. They're going to send me a ruler, a set of four rulers, and another shirt. Eighth anniversary shirt, because it's our eighth anniversary. They've been going for eight years now. It's good. 
And this will process fairly quickly. I mean, shipping to me is usually quite slow. And I'll expect to see this board in probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks at the worst case. Because shipping is slow to me. It might be in the country in a week's time, but it'll take another week to go the 80k to my house. It's that kind of situation. <laughs> no rush. But in other places, I know the, the turnarounds can be much quicker than that in other countries or other locations where the shipping is much more effective. So that's basically it. I mean, that's not much to it. But once you design the board, you just use one of sites such as PC Way and um, off you go. You get your boards. It's actually really easy. Now, the board process, instant quote stuff, I mean, you see, for me, the biggest cost is going to be the shipping. I mean, it's $5 for the PCBs, which is a good price. You know, imagine doing that $5, you know, 10 years ago, it, was, it wouldn't have happened. But the biggest cost for me is shipping because of where I am. I'm quite remote, so shipping cost is significantly more than that. But because I'm sponsored, it doesn't cost me anything. So PC Way cover the cost for me. I'd, I'd get these for nothing. I'm quite lucky in that way. Next video will be about assembling the boards once the boards arrive. I'll do a soldering video, teach you how to solder and assemble these boards and actually see if my design even works. I've got no idea, I haven't even tested it. Thanks for watching.